Well, a warning tonight from the Orange County DA's office. Beware of scammers posing as IRS agents. That's right. As KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler shows you, even a top local investigator was targeted by a caller. So I'm trying to con the con. When a scammer called Damon Tucker claiming he was with the IRS, yeah. he got more than he bargained for. Actually, you are calling the police. That's the part that's hilarious. No, not possible. Oh my God, you're a liar. Tucker is the lead investigator of the fraud unit at the Orange County District Attorney's Office. So when a man called from outside the U.S. claiming the IRS needed Tucker's personal information, he couldn't help but give him the name of a famous deceased actor and a well known phone number. I gave them uh, 8675309 from the song Tommy Two Tongue. He admits he was enjoying putting the scammer on the spot, but he never thought he'd hear a true confession. So do you have a script that they give you, and then you basically go down a decision matrix? No, no, nothing like that. Nothing like that? How do you guys get rip off the people from their money? It's easy to rip off people. Americans are stupid. You don't need a script to, you know, make America, Americans fool or cheat them. Yeah. Americans are fools. Vegetables, if you call them. So you figured out an IRS scam, and you, and you think that works? It does work. We pick up old people. We yeah. pick up uh, non-Americans, we pick up uh, Im uh, immigrants, yeah. we pick up uh, some of the dumb girls. Girls are, we really hunt girls well, okay? Young girls. That kind of lets you know their mindset. They just want to get something from you, even if it's a small amount, because if they're doing this on, on bulk, on volume, they're going to get a lot of money doing that. Tucker says the IRS will only contact you by mail, not by phone. If you do get a call, he says don't give any personal information. Back to you in the studio.